from this so the music change everything you know Same no, right. no sir <laughs> so me and my mom's relationship anything and everything you know ask mommy i'm gonna tell mommy or you know what go on munch this munch what we tell him say? i hear you me miss munch it people in the air for munch it miss munch are you around the thing so watch you know you know me i say munch it munch it yell up munch it what go on munch it aha regular family thank you so much for tuning in to what one munch it once more um i'm very happy that you made it because today i have a very special guest this is why a very hard to tell welcome goes out to a guest I've never spoken to as yet. That's why I'm even more excited. Skip Marley, welcome to Wagwan Munchi. How are you today? <laughs> love, love, feeling the love. Thank you for having me. Nice. Yeah, man, thank you so much. I'm glad to have you because this is a very special month for you. You already presented something to us. Please tell me what's in store is now. Well, we'll just come out with a vinyl for my EP will just come out higher place. So, you know, people really are tech to that, you know, and I've, I wanted to make sure that, you know, we we'll keep, keep it roots. So, you know, I made sure so we go back and make a vinyl, you know, that's what I grew up on and that's what I love. So, you know, it's nice for the people for have it and hear it too. So the feedback has been great. So, yeah, yeah no, definitely. I mean, I have to show something. Because huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, already, I already got it. I have to show yeah. you because um, <laughs> wonderful. You have the lyrics in it as well. Of course, wow. you have the vinyl in wow. <laughs> XL white. So yes. you have it all. Plus, you also have two new bonus tracks, right? Yes, yes. Tell me about them. What, what's on it new? Well, is it is it is it beats remix upon the make me feel? Um, we have the slowdown with Oxlade and David out, like a remix, African remix. And yeah, those are the two bonus tracks for that one there. Yeah. Yes, so the vinyl is out. You can get it just like me. Be just as happy and excited as I am. <laughs> and we will talk about Skip Marley's work um, again as well in just a few from now. But of course, there is more exciting new stuff out in September. We're premiering music videos on our regular YouTube channel every day. So you can always stay tuned to that. And we already premiered one uh, just last week, Be Safe, a rising Jamaican talent named Torpedo featuring Selma Queen from Kenya. I will never fail, no time, no day. Yeah, we'll pay the way, oh yeah. Skip Marley's Higher Place Anniversary Edition is in stores already. The vinyl, you can check it out. Um, the project um, has been released a year ago already, digitally, as, as your first EP. How did it feel to drop this project? Also, as a Marley, does that, is that like a yeah, mandatory I mean, thing to do or a pressure? Awesome. No, it's a light and it's a love of have, you know, it's like the music talk to me, so I follow it, you know what I mean? So it's just like, for me, it's just for the love, you know, and, and the whole process, even making it and, you know, the timing of it was, you know, everything was already in and perfect, you know, you know, I rush certain things, you know what I mean? So it's like, for me, everything was in time. So, you know, even the, the music is just for the people still, so, you know, from the people really, I take to it and I love it because the people, you know, so the people that want it for a while now. So, you know, just, just what? Well, come on, release from 2015, cry to me enough for other, other tune and other tune, and, you know? So I was just building since then. And like I said, everything come together just last year, you know? So everything take time. So, you know, I'm just glad and proud to say, you know, it's out there for people to have, you know what I mean? And people for enjoy and, you know, 
Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. That's 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 wonderful. That's really lovely, literally. You know, um, I, you you mentioned 2015, and you mentioned the course of your career, and I think the idea of actually making music or um, also going on stage. Um, started a little bit earlier when I think you were around 13 or 14 and it was not really you who came up with the idea right because, but your uncle Stephen right can you can you tell me about your first stage appearance yeah yeah well I was on tour with my uncle Stephen back back in I think 2012 or 13 and no, 2012 I think or no 11 Jaja and and um during the sound check, in terms of said tonight, I'm gonna bring me out for sing. And I'm not a, I'm not a singer them time there, you know. I'm not really, a, you know. I, I'm into the music, but I was never vocal about it, you know what I mean? So, uncle, uncle said tonight, may I bring you out? So I said okay. So the night come now, and him come off for the encore, and him say you ready? I said yes, uncle. So two twos end up on the stage, and then boom, bam. One love start play, and they look over to me, like you know. So I say, all right, let's walk out there, and him say, yeah, well, this is Skip, you know, and he's got something to say, and then he just give me the mic, and from this, uh, from this, uh, the music change everything, you know, right, right there, everything change, music take over my life, kind of. Yeah. So, so the idea of making music professionally that was never really in your head before. I mean, yeah, like I, I was never vocal. Like I said, I wasn't really vocal about it. You know what I mean? This was like I was more to myself about you know music in a sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it was so more would school. Would you be in front of the mirror more with, this, with the hairbrush? Would, Say it would again. You, would you be in front of the mirror with the hair pra brush practicing? Hair brush, no sir. <laughs> No, but I would sing like in the house or like our own family, but you know, not not really pursuing it per se, like you know, as seriously, as, you know, yeah. yeah. So you said right in that moment the idea kind of manifested. Um, how did your mom react when you told her? Because I mean, she knows the business very well. Yeah, I mean. I mean, she was there for that moment too, you know, and she, everybody was in tears and joy and all of that and all of that. But, you know, she, she did say, like, if I want to be serious about this, you have to be serious and dedicate yourself to it, you know. Yeah, it's not a, yeah, you have to work for it. Yeah, it's nothing, it's nothing there for you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. How how is your guy's relationship in general? Because I think when when you posted mm. on her birthday, you said blessed to have have her as my mom, yes. which was yes. really lovely. And yes, I mean, every every day, every year, let me tell her every day is not you know. Yeah, it's a, it's me and my mom's relationship. Anything and everything, you know. Ask mommy, I'm gonna tell mommy, or you know, especially with musical advice, not only life advice but musical, you know. What do you think about this? Or this song? Or that? Or that? You know? So that's, that's how me and her we stay. You know? and I love mommy, of course. Yeah. And, and you also did a song together for UNICEF for a charitable um, cause. You did this One Love project together. Um, right. how, do, how do her memories of her father um, influence you, inspire you in any way? Yeah, that, that, that gave me a, a, a different kind of energy, you know, a different kind of spirit, you know? For, 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 for keep up and never give up, you know what I'm saying? And we're still in the fight, you know what I mean? It? So it's like that kind of energy there, you know, it's like an endless kind of flow of like, you know, influence and inspiration, you know. Yeah. You you also picked a quote from your grandfather for higher place in the very beginning of the track. Why did you pick this particular quote from him? Because what, what, what grandpa was saying is relevant, you know, and it speak, it spoke to me and it speak to people, you know, like, like grandpa said, the majority of the people want it, you know, for mankind to reach a place where, you know, we can uh, be as one and live amongst each other, you know, no matter the color, creed, race, you know what I mean? That's so, yeah, it spoke to me and that is really the whole idea of a higher place for mankind and the whole idea of the project, you know. 
Yeah. Do you feel like sometimes these days we're even further from such a higher place than at times before? Different times, same fight. You know? Yeah, so I feel like now, now but more than ever, we have these we have different ways of connecting with people. Now we have social media and all these things. So it's like you can, can really get the message out there and people can really see, you know, people can really change because it's, it's like a community, a world community, you know. So we have to build up a world community to build up our world immunity. You know what I mean? So it's, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think this message, also this that you spoke about also other messages in your lyrics are very, mm. let's say, um, reggae musically, I'd say though, that Higher Place is not really um, a, a reggae record. Would you agree or would you yeah, say? Of course, cause I remember Roots is the foundation, reggae is the foundation, but you're like, you know, the tree have branches and, you know, leaves grow upon that branch and you know grow out and so you know yeah the music to me i'm not really in a box so you know it's just wherever the inspiration really took me at the time you know so yeah but roots reggae music is always the foundation you know because that's where we come from so no matter what you know yeah. would you as, but as i mentioned i said lyrically in the message though it mm. it, it reminds me a lot of of, of what, what your grandfather also started. Um, is this maybe what you meant when you posted a graphic just a, um, not too long ago where your head and Bob's head were kind of melted together and it said um, the same message, different okay. generation? Yeah, you know, somebody did actually put that together and then they'd write that. So I did just put it, I did just post it. But yeah, you know, I, I feel, I feel so, you know what I mean? I feel like, we're continuing, not only me alone, but the whole third generation. We're continuing my grandfather's works, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Does it put mm -hmm. pressure on you in a certain way? Or, or is, how does this feel, kind of fighting the struggle, same way still? Well, after, you know, can't run, so, you know, after the after the, you know, so we, we're for all people, you know, so we we'll just push love and unity and togetherness, you know. There's already enough separation and envy and jealousy and all these other things in the world and what they put on the forefront for people and the masses to see, you know. So, yeah, you know, we try to show them that life is the best thing, you know, life, you know, yeah, and love. Yeah. True, so true. <laughs> So you can listen, Skip Marley's message on his EP that's out since last year on the vinyl now that is out since two about two weeks ago. And if you are a Marley fan, you have something wonderful to discover as well. Because just recently, footage from 1973, which was believed to be lost, was rediscovered and was restored. And it's out now on a DVD and a CD, the Capitol Sessions, Bob Marley and the Whaler's Life in Los Angeles. You can read everything all the news about this on our website and of course you can get this dvd and cd and if you're looking for more music and um, um a few more releases are also dropping this september um this week friday we can expect calipi with his new album vision and soja with beauty in the silence and already last week friday meta and the cornerstones presented dia their new album that also includes the single try me they don't want to see you live like a king no they want to see you lay upon the ground serve swapping on your backside people protesting every time somebody black die violence to the issues is oppression of the heart you're in the bigger picture of the master and the yard we need to do a little style searching before we end up at the beginning Great men 
Ryan that your father has worked with passed away recently, very, very sadly. Lee Scratch Perry, condolences to the family and friends and the whole fraternity. Um, you also posted something and you posted a, a, a very big quote. Um, what impact did, did he have on you, his works musically, also lyrically? Huge, because remember, you know, a scratch make dub, you know, a scratch make a whole genre, a whole style, you know, a whole way of music and a whole understanding and, you know, feeling behind the music. So for me, for me, he's an innovator and he's a leader in, 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 in the genre, you know what I'm saying, and an innovator and, a, and a one, of, one, of, one of the best, you know what I'm saying? So that was the only time I got to meet him, actually, you know, that picture I posted, that was the only time. And like, I had to tell him, so he's going to come back down to see him, you know, and get some reasoning with him, man, you know, vibes with him, man, you know. But yeah, yeah, scratch, scratch is, scratch is a legend, man. And, you know, what he's, what he's done will live on, you know, and his inspiration and the people he's touched will live on and, you know, yeah, it will grow and grow and grow. Yeah. yeah, man, certainly, certainly. The spirit will live on. That, that's what, what we can always see um, yeah. in, in music, especially music. in art. Magic master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. In yeah. general, what producers um, do you like who, who inspires you, who has an impact on, on your music, or who would you work, want to work with sometime in the future? Well, the, the producer that impacts me the most is my uncle Stephen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but in the future, I mean, there's a lot of producers I would like to work and you know, doing some things with Super Loops. Super Loops was one of those I would love to work like. Those, he was one of those I look forward to working with, you know, from back then, 2015 to now. So, you know, I've been lucky enough, unfortunate enough to work amongst such, you know, man. And even um, what do call it? my bridge in there, Salam Remy, you know what I mean? Great, great musical minds and great producer minds, you know, just being able to be, you know, in the room. And so it's for me, it's like school, you know. So I'm always in school when I'm amongst them, man, there, you know. So for me, yes, yeah, people I can learn from is the best for me, you know. Yeah, them type of producer there. Even I like, even I like a Pharrell and a Timbaland and them people, you know. Yeah, people I can learn from in a sense. I would love to, you know. Yeah. Just yeah. for them understanding, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's my thing. Yeah. And, and speaking of the future, what's, um, what projects are coming up from you in the near well, future or for the rest of the year or so? Well, yeah, rest of the year. Well, all right. I can tell you, I'm, of a feature. I'm featuring on a song with an African artist named Stone Boy. I don't know if you know about Stone Boy. Yeah, man. He was a guest on this show already. Also. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, man. A family that still. So, you know, of that coming out. Um, I have a couple of other tunes coming out for this year coming. I have a kind of Afro, Afro kind of dancey kind of vibe I come. Um, I have a more reggae kind of vibe I come as yet. So I may, may not give it no name as of yet, but, you know, those will be coming in the next month. In the next month, I release a song. So can look forward to that. Definitely. I, I am yeah. looking forward already. Sounds very, very cool. Yeah. Very yes. nice. Lovely. Yes. Yeah. So for the vinyl and of course for the songs that you just mentioned that are coming up i wish you all the be very best That's um it. also in general for the musical career please keep up your wonderful lovely spirit thank and you. keep spreading the message yes. of love and unity through the music yes. thank you very much skip for taking the time speaking to me and and, and sharing your message of course, of course. <laughs> bless the love every time what one, Munchie? <laughs>